main square of uh, Luxembourg City, together with the uh, SES, so with Emergency LU, with MSB, with Ericsson, shows us really where the community that supports the humanitarian response comes together to showcase really what it's looked like to be in an emergency. A lot of people have been visiting this exhibition, including the minister and members of the parliament. And I have been talking to a lot of them and they were very much impressed seeing what Luxembourg and all the other partners of the ETC are doing each and every day in the field supporting humanitarian operations. We're showing our different access network or connectivity solutions that we bring to the field and what kind of services we can offer both the humanitarians and the people that are affected by the emergency we're responding to and how critical things like connectivity and communications can be to them to help them recover themselves but also help them ask for the things they need. It looks very high tech, sophisticated equipment, so uh, it's very, very robust as well. Yeah, quite impressive. This charging device causes actually quite a lot of attention and here we have one device that requires one socket that can charge 10 devices. This day gives a really great opportunity to see how the equipment that we're actually deploying in emergencies, how this actually takes place, but also to start to see which new technologies can actually help further improve the way that we respond and the way that we can rebuild in communities. I found particularly interesting how you use drone technology in the face of uh, catastrophes and uh, natural disasters to be fast to respond to helping people in the early hours because that's critical for the survival rate of people. Another interesting point, which is also a big discussion here, is now about data, how to gather data, how to properly handle the data. Today I was really humbled and honoured to be able to convene seven satellite providers who side by side signed an agreement to be able to deploy technology personnel to do training with us and to donate three months of free airtime for a humanitarian responsive from now on.